Now, I am a single woman, and I pay attention to the TikTok algorithm and all other social media sites and what it markets to me. And all I see are videos of women who hate men and don't want to be with men anymore, who are choosing the bear, who want to be independent and love the single life and never want to be married. And I see videos of men who basically say the same thing about women. I see all these videos about how there's no point in marriage and the institution doesn't matter anymore. It's a social construct. And I am just, I'm just appalled by how it's, it's basically mind control. Social media is mind control. And if you are not strong, set in your own personal values, you can be so easily manipulated and swayed by what this shit is showing you. Like, guys, come the fuck on. Are we really saying that we don't need men anymore? That we don't value men? That they don't have no purpose? No, I'm old school. And just because I am unmarried and single doesn't mean that I want to be this way. No, I know that men have a role and they have a purpose. And I wish I had a man in my life. And this is total bullshit how they're trying to keep us divided. They have completely broken down the family structure. And it's all to make money. They want more women in the workforce, men in the workforce. They can charge you more taxes when you're single and not married. Um, it, it's, come on, guys. We got to stop playing into this bullshit and get back to what matters and get back to family values and marriage. Ma'am, per usual, that sounds nice and dandy. Sounds absolutely perfect. But the thing is, some of this stuff is rooted in facts. And the point to touch on that you mentioned, you said that uh, marriage is just not worth it. Or a lot of guys sp specifically feel that way because women... And you included, if you are to marry, you are incentivized to divorce and take half of a man's things. So that's why marriage is going down. But women, they're just saying, well, I don't need a man. I got my own money. I'm getting the bag. They're getting programmed by the music and the sisterhood. Guys, we're not really programmed because there's, there's, there's some things out there for us, but there's way more things out there for women to be impressionable, to pick up on and actually get manipulated by. And men, it's kind of difficult to manipulate men because men are more realistic in general. So there is some truth in this, but getting back to that, maybe overseas, not in America. It's pretty much cooked. So yeah, we should get back, but shoulda, coulda, woulda. It's over. A lot of men have no courage. Oh, do tell. It is something men used to pride themselves in. It was lumped into chivalry, part of being a man. Anyone willing to bet this is about modern dating? And now you don't even have the courage to go talk to a girl? Ooh, it's fun to be right. None of you are approaching women. Why should they? There's countless videos out there of women telling men to leave them alone, and men are actually listening. And now some seem upset about that. None of you seem confident. How could they possibly be confident? What is considered to be the bare minimum and the requirements that some women have for dating keep shifting on a daily basis from the unreasonable to the outlandish. And coming from a girl, I swear to you, all it takes is a little bit of courage to stand out. Yes, the gym is going to help. Yes, fashion is going to help. Yes, you need to be a good man. But none of that is going to matter if you're not willing to put yourself out there. The biggest thing that one isn't taking into account here is that a lot of men are just tired of all the games. They would actually just prefer the peace of being single. Are you going to fail on many approaches? Absolutely. But who cares? I know it hurts, but what else are you going to do? They're going to sit happily at home not having to worry about if they're tall enough, if they make enough money, or most importantly, who's cheating on them. So much more control over your own destiny here. I'm too short. I'm too poor. Modern women aren't worth it. Feminism ruined everything. Are just a bunch of lame-ass cop-out excuses. But are they? All this is really telling me is that ultimately, a lot of women really don't understand most men. And it shows. Per usual, roll out the red carpet. Lady J, she's always, always on point. And the reason why women speak like this in general is because women are getting dried out of the dating market. That's why they're mentioning this. That's why they're encouraging men to go out there and make fools of themselves and waste their time. Because women, the thing is, they're disguising it as one thing, but it's not. They're disguising it as you'll get a date. Girls out here really want to date you. They really want to be with you. They really want to have a connection with you. But what the translation is and woman is is, we need more attention. We need more simps. We need more validation. We need you to validate us. That's what we need you for. So stop not doing it and start doing it again. 
but that's over. Turn off the tap, cut it off, dry them out of the dating market, and then maybe they'll act right. Maybe they'll get a few pumps. But that's about it because a lot of these women are cooked. <laughs> get your passport, like I said before. It's not. If one of us eat, then we all ball. Dude. Sip colliders out in Cancun. Cancun. Please stop praying for my downfall. Please. It ain't coming no time soon. Not From the concrete, a little bitty rose grew. Any